Hi everyone, welcome to Mother Goose and Friends. Today we're going to have a sing and say. We're going to sing some songs and we're going to say some poems and nursery rhymes. So let's get started and sing our welcome song. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll reach and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Yay! All right, you're warmed up now. Let's say hot crust buns together, and the first time we say it, we'll clap our hands like this. Hot crust buns, hot crust buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot crust buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. This time, time we'll clap on our knees. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Great job, everybody. Now let's hit the floor together. Here we go. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together because it's fun to do. Now we're going to clap our hands. We clap our hands together. We clap our hands together. We clap our hands together because it's fun to do. Wiggle our fingers. We wiggle our fingers together. We wiggle our fingers together. We wiggle our fingers together because it's fun to do. We nod our heads. We nod our heads together. We nod our heads together. We nod our heads together because it's fun to do. Sway from side to side. We sway from side to side. We sway from side to side. We sway from side to side because it's fun to do. We all say hello. We all say hello together. We all say hello together. We all say hello together because it's fun to do. Good. That's one of my favorite songs. It makes me happy. Did it make you happy? <clears throat> Let's talk about Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Let's say it once more. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And our favorite, Here, where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Let's sing that one more time. That's fun. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. All right, everybody, good job. We have one more. I know you know this one, pat a cake. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <clears throat> One more time. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it, and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. Okay, good. Now get comfortable because it's time for our story. And it's about Buzzy. Buzzy had a little lamb. since he was a baby, Buzzy had a little lamb. 
It's a little stuffed lamb. Whenever Buzzy went, little lamb was sure to go. When Buzzy went for a ride in the car, little lamb had a special seat. When Buzzy got his hair cut, little lamb kept him company. When Buzzy went to the dentist, little lamb sat right next to him. Buzzy wanted to take little lamb to school. Little lamb, you can't go to school, said his mother. But I need him, said Buzzy. He goes everywhere with me. Sorry, said his mother. It's a rule. No toys from home are allowed in school. Little lamb will have to wait for you in the car. Buzzy went to the dress-up corner and sat there. He didn't feel like playing with school toys. He wanted little lamb. Buzzy looked around. He didn't feel like building with blocks. He didn't feel like painting. He didn't feel like playing with clay. When the teacher asked Buzzy to sit on the rug with everyone, he did, even though he wished little lamb could be there with him. Then it was time for juice and cookies. Sally sat next to Buzzy. When everyone played outside, Buzzy picked three flowers for Sally. When they came back inside, Sally said, let's play house. You be the daddy, I'll be the mommy. Okay, said Buzzy, let's pretend we have two children. Allie and Jack wanted to be the children. Sally and Buzzy fed them dinner. Buzzy read them a story. Now, kids, it's time for bed, said Sally. When the children were all tucked in, Buzzy and Sally sat down to rest. Buzzy said, let's play a different game. Let's play Mary had a little lamb. Caleb wanted to be the lamb. Buzzy fed him some clover. He brushed his furry coat. Now you have to follow me to school, Buzzy said. Buzzy had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Buzzy had a little lamb. His fur was soft and blue. He followed him to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed him to school one day, which was against the rule. When Buzzy's mother came to pick him up, he didn't stop talking. There was a lamb in school today. I fed it, I brushed it, and it followed me everywhere. What a good game you played, said Buzzy's mother. And what a lucky boy you are to have two lambs. The end. What a good story, but it's time for me to leave now. So I'll see you next week. Come see me. Bye-bye.